Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Friday, January the 3rd, 2020. The tarot card for today is the Five of Wands. In this case, the Five of Beasts from the Wizard's Tarot. Now, I can hear you out there. I'm not going to name any names, but I can already see the comments. I don't like this card, Cecilia. This isn't pretty. You always show cards with beautiful artwork. This is, this is a scary card. Well, it's not a scary card, but its image is meant to make you take notice. Okay. Art is art and it all has a purpose. Okay. So we need to explore many different tarot decks as we go along. And what I want to talk about today at first is something that I don't normally discuss. And that is Mercury opposing the North Node, suggesting that, you know, there's something about the past, something about the past that you need to let go. Now, the Five of Wands is a card that speaks of tension and conflict and, you know, whether it's your own interpersonal struggles or, you know, the, the competition and conflict that you have with others and the inability to get along. But if you've looked at the cards that you are shown on Sunday that are for the coming week, you know, that little video that comes out and you see like what is coming and you know, the sequence of cards that we have here, you're going to realize that, you know, where we had all that yesterday with that surge of energy, and by the way, I didn't, I was so excited yesterday. I didn't mention Mercury conjuncting Jupiter being a part of it so yesterday was like a really gung-ho great day but today you know you got to face a few things all right in order to get to where you need to be you have to come to terms with what needs to change there is something about life that is not the same and whether there is a matter of acceptance here and you know we're in eclipse season and i know that there has been loss and that there has been pain and people are struggling with you know getting over these things and sometimes you actually can't but you do need to be able to function you need to be able to release the painful parts and face that so that you can move forward even if it's the loss of a loved one i do not buy into that everything happens for a reason okay that's a bunch of crap, but your pain is real, your grief is real, whatever has happened in your life that needs to be faced here. You can manage to still have that level of positive memory, but letting the painful parts go. And it's not to say that you ever forget it, but you can't let it consume you. So, you know, you're in a, a spot here where you're getting ready to almost like find your path and your purpose or what 2020 means to you and what is coming is for the long term by the way many of you out there are familiar with me mentioning my friend's son who battled a brain tumor from age four overcame all of that and on the 29th passed due to secondary cancers and tumors such as a heart tumor, you know, which took over his body. But he leaves behind a grieving family, okay? And I'm using this as an example for you because you have to deal with it, all right? And I've been there. I've done this myself. So, excuse me, I lost it for a moment there. But that is part of this process of what is going on whatever struggles you have in your life that you still have to overcome okay that's part of what you're trying to figure out now okay for every person it's a different story and you will manage to do it but it's setting up something that's totally different all right that you've probably not experienced yet 
in your lifetime. As I said yesterday or the day before, I go into all of this in some really lengthy readings that I have done over on Patreon by sign and by the year generally and all of that. So it's hard to get into it all here in a video that lasts as much as maybe five, six minutes. So however you choose to look at this card, you know, that ugliness, that beast, you know, a demon in your life that you need to overcome, okay? Because this is where you are and you're going to see this process as it plays out over the course of the year. This is a very big year and I love the fact that as you came out of the gate on January 1st, it's setting it up and telling you this year is totally, totally different, okay? I also mentioned yesterday, if you would like to hear about the full moon that's coming up on the 10th, which is an eclipse, by the way, in Cancer, you may go to your app store and download the Podbean app and listen for free there because it's really a, a video that's only available to my Patreon members and my members only people. But I am putting it on Podbean. You can listen to it across any podcast platform. It will be available in two days on the 5th. So I wanna thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.